10th of January 2024. Live from Television Centre in London, this is Good Morning Britain with Susanna Reid and Richard Maidley. Good morning, Britain. It has just gone eight o'clock. Our main news this morning, the post office minister who first called for the former post office boss, Paula Venels, to hand back her CBE on this show, has told Good Morning Britain this morning the government knows it needs to do something significant to get justice and compensation for the hundreds of postmasters embroiled in the Horizon IT scandal. So where are we? It's thought that emergency measures to overturn the convictions could be announced by the PM as early as midday today in PMQ's Prime Minister's Questions. Our political correspondent, Louisa James, is still in Westminster for us. Louisa, I mean, you can feel the anticipation almost trembling in the air. Are we really expecting a definitive announcement in the next two or three hours? Yeah, I mean, there's huge expectation on the government now uh, to deliver, but I think what you saw from... Kevin Hollenrake, the post office minister, in the last half hour on Good Morning Britain was really him trying to manage that expectation uh, somewhat. He said uh, he doesn't know whether the Prime Minister is going to make an announcement at noon today at Prime Minister's questions. He can't guarantee that. And he doesn't know what that announcement will be when it does come. It seems, listening to him, that there are two options here. One is uh, overturning each outstanding conviction one by one, which he said was complicated, would take a very long time and relies on people coming forward, which they can be reluctant to do. The other is to introduce a law to overturn all those outstanding convictions at once. But he said quite clearly that that is something that the government would rather not do, if possible, because it is unprecedented. Here's what he had to say. These are very significant issues. What Parliament tries to avoid doing at all costs, and very rarely does, is interfere with the independent judicial, judicial process. So, and one of the options here is a blanket overturning of all convictions. That's the quickest option, but it is pretty unprecedented. He did also say, though, that these are exceptional circumstances which need innovative solutions, so it does leave the door open to that. He would not either be drawn on what the consequences could be for either individuals or companies, either financially or legally, who may be held responsible. He said that was a matter for the public inquiry. We have seen the former head of the, the post office, Paula Venels, decide to give up her CBE uh, in the last 24 hours. There's increasing uh, spotlight on the company at the heart of this, Fujitsu, who made that faulty Horizon system and who has continued to be awarded billions of pounds of uh, government contracts in the meantime. Uh, and of course, all the time there are these hundreds of people watching very closely who've lost uh, their livelihoods, who've uh, lost family members, who in some cases have lost their own lives and these families waiting to find out uh, what is going to happen to them. Will they get the answers from Rishi Sunak at Prime Minister's Questions at noon today? Listening to Kevin Hollenrake, I'm not so sure that they will uh, today at least. Uh, but I think that anger will only grow and will start to turn on the current government and the Prime Minister if those answers and solutions don't come very quickly. So January the 10th could be a very big day in Mr Bates's diary. Yeah. All right, Louisa, thanks very much indeed. That's our main news this morning. Now here's Charlotte with the rest of the day's stories.